I'm gonna take a look around upstairs, something's fishy. Welcome to Miss Mojo Glow, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst makeup jobs in movies. Number 10, Jared Leto's old age makeup, Mr. Nobody. At my age, the candles cost more than the cake. In the 2009 sci-fi drama Mr. Nobody, Jared Leto plays the protagonist Nemo Nobody at the ages of 34 and 118 years old. This massive age gap required the actor to undergo an extensive centenarian transformation and makeup was used to age him. However, the results are, for lack of better words, a little unsettling. From the thick and heavy prosthetics to the dramatically saggy skin texture, Nemo's elderly self looks fake and unnatural. Number 9. Vin Diesel's wig. Find me guilty. Jackie D don't rock. Jackie D won't ever rock. In the picture, Diesel portrays real-life gangster Jackie DiNorcio, who acted as his own legal defense while on trial in the 1980s. For the role, Diesel wore a hairpiece that can only be described as a head-scratcher. What'd you say? The hairline of the wig was pushed back so far that he might as well have been bold. Plus, it looks nothing like DiNorcio's actual hair. Number 8. Leonardo DiCaprio and Army Hammer's aged-up makeup, J. Edgar. Aging Leonardo DiCaprio and Army Hammer in Clint Eastwood's 2011 drama J. Edgar just doesn't work out. There is something so off-putting about seeing DiCaprio, who would have been about 36 at the time, in this makeup. He looks stiff and like he's having trouble moving his face, and something about his eyes makes the artificiality of this look very apparent. Those eyebrows certainly aren't doing him any favours either. I should have never given you your job, Clyde. You know that. Number 7. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's makeup, Looper In order to look like a younger version of co-star Bruce Willis in Looper, Joseph Gordon-Levitt underwent an extensive makeover. According to the actor, the process took three hours at the start of every day of filming. While we're sure a lot of thought and careful planning went into this, the attempt kind of falls short. None of this concerns me. This is gonna happen to you! It you happened to you, it doesn't have to happen to me. Even with the makeup, it's hard to see any resemblance between the two actors. Number 6. Channing Tatum's Half Canine Transformation – Jupiter Ascending 2015's sci-fi odyssey Jupiter Ascending was a box office bomb, and it was pulled apart by both critics and moviegoers. Even the film's makeup design wasn't safe from their criticism. Tatum's character, Kane Wise, is supposed to be a half-human and half-dog. However, thanks to some pointy ears and contact lenses, Wise looks more like Celestial Elf than Canine. I have more in common with a dog than I have with you. I love dogs. Between the heavy eyeliner and frosted beard, we're not sure what the desired effect was supposed to be, but it's definitely otherworldly. Number 5. Al Pacino's character maker, Dick Tracy Sure, Dick Tracy is based on a famed comic strip, so cartoonish elements were bound to find their way into the 1990 live-action movie adaptation. That being said, Al Pacino's appearance looks like it leapt right off the page. <laughs> The renowned actor portrayed mobster Alfonso Big Boy Caprice, and the design team strove to honor Chester Gould's illustrations by making the character's appearances similar to the source material. What resulted was Pacino's face covered in heavy prosthetics, including an exaggerated bulbous chin and the appearance of larger eyes. Number 4. Jackie Earl Haley's Freddy Krueger Makeup – A Nightmare on Elm Street in 2010, the horror franchise A Nightmare on Elm Street resurrected its villainous killer, Freddy Krueger. Actor Jackie Earl Haley assumed the role that Robert Englund made famous. Instead of replicating Krueger's look from the 80s, however, they opted to go for a more realistic take on the character. A little Nancy, now that you got me. What game do you want to play next? In an attempt to make his skin look burnt, the crew used a mix of makeup and CGI. However, he kind of just looks like he's melting rather than burned. Number 3. Helena Bonham Carter's Hair – Planet of the Apes Tim Burton's 2001 endeavour, Planet of the Apes, was incredibly ambitious. One of its biggest undertakings was turning its cast into apes. Just like its predecessor, the film's makeup design was crucial to its success, and thanks to the prosthetics designed by Rick Baker, it pulled it off. Even critics highlighted Baker's works in their reviews. However, there was one transformation that just didn't land. While Helena Bonham Carter's prosthetics looked great, her wig… 
not so much. Must you be so difficult? Not only did her character's hair look styled and blown out, it also had highlights. Number two, Ryan Reynolds' suit, Just Friends. In the 2005 rom-com Just Friends, Ryan Reynolds plays a record exec who returns home for the holidays and reconnects with his former high school BFF and crush, played by Amy Smart. The film opens with a flashback to Reynolds' character's teenage years and the actor wears facial prosthetics, which looks totally unrealistic. The use of a bodysuit has been a long-standing issue within the film industry. Not only is it offensive and harmful, it just doesn't look great either. Oh my god! Number one, Ice-T's prosthetics, Tank Girl. 1995's dystopian sci-fi flick Tank Girl is a wild and wacky adventure that includes some of the most trippy makeup effects captured on film. For instance, rapper Ice-T portrays a character named T-Saint, who is a ripper, which means he's a being that has the DNA of both a human and a kangaroo. Upon first seeing him, you'd think T-Saint might look more like a dog than a sub-kangaroo, thanks to his canine-like snout and floppy ears. Although the look very much fits the Tank Girl universe and aesthetic, something about this is just straight up weird. Just speak face in the West, we'll hear you all right. 